Hi, gorgeous. This is episode number 260. You are listening to Heart Cells Podcast. I'm your host, Christine Schlonsky, and it is Variety Friday, the day where I answer your questions, where I share amazing resources, where I share my knowledge with you and what I have learned in over a decade of high ticket sales over the phone, as well as what I'm teaching my clients right now to really help them succeed. And I'm so super pumped you are here on this beautiful Friday. You are tuning in. You are investing your time to learn more about sales and how to do that from your heart with your heart in alignment. And so you can go out and make the world a better place with your amazing gifts and products. Because if you don't sell, well, guess what? You can't serve because then you obviously don't have any clients. And the world is such a better place when you are giving your gifts to the world. So I just want to take this quick moment and acknowledge you for how far you have come. And you are here, you realized you need to do a little bit work around selling or maybe a huge chunk of work, how to sell from your heart. And I'm super honored that you are tuning in. So thank you so much for that. And I'm cheering you on, on your path, never, ever give up, keep up the good work and just influence in a positive way, impact more people with your amazing gift. Because I believe we do have this journey. We are supposed to give our gifts to the world. So I'm here to support you on that journey, including all the amazing guests I have or had in the past and will have in the future. So let's dive in on today's topic. And uh, today's topic is actually about your focus, about action taking. You have probably heard me say that before. The pizza guy is not coming to your door and deliver your dreams while you sit on the couch, right? The pizza guy is there to deliver pizza and to get a pizza. The least thing you need to do is you have to call the pizza service and you have to get really, really clear on what pizza you want to order, and then you have to ask for it. So how does this transfer to sales, right? You have to get really, really clear what kind of pizza, like what kind of soulmate client do you want? Who is it that can get the best from you? Who is it that gets the most out of your amazing gifts? Right? You would not order a pizza where you know exactly you don't like it. It's not your taste. Right? Or you, maybe you say, well, I don't like onions. And then obviously you order without the onions. So you get really, really clear. And I'm taking this funny analogy because I want to get it into your head that sales can be so much fun. If you allow sales to be fun and if you talk to the people who need your gifts the most and who are willing to pay for your services, for your products, so that you can build your thriving business. So let's stay with a pizza for a little while. Think about, you probably ordered a pizza at some point in your life or you had someone order a pizza for you. So the tricky thing is from all those options on the menu, you need to choose your pizza, right? And, you know, some of you like their pizza with meat on them and some of you don't. And, you know, there's so many options you have to consider. And it's the same with your soulmate clients. There's so many options. There's so many beautiful people out there. But not everybody is a fit for what you have to offer. So by getting really, really clear, what kind of pizza would you like to order? What kind of pizza would you like to ask for and share with the person who takes your order? What kind of pizza that is so they know what to send your way? You need to get super, super clear, right? You need to know the crust. You need to know what kind of cheese, what kind of topping. Do you want to extra toppings on your pizza and so on and so forth? You get the drill. So get really, really super, super clear on your pizza, hence your soulmate clients. What are they getting from you? How do they feel when they get it? How grateful will they be? What's the energy exchange you need to have to make it exciting for you, 
right? And to create your thriving pizza, <laughs> well, <laughs> you create your thriving business, which is also you, you kind of make your own pizza. So really figure out what is it. And then when you're clear about that, obviously you need to create content so you can call your soulmate client, right? You call in your soulmate client and you have to describe that pizza. You have to say what kind, what size and so on and so forth. So, and then once you call in your soulmate client and, you know, the pizza guy delivers it or, you know, your, your calendar has a new entry for someone who wants to talk to you, then you can really go deep and have a really great conversation because you already know this is your favorite kind of pizza. You will have fun with that kind of pizza and, you know, life will just be great because it is your favorite kind of pizza. So, you know, you will enjoy that immensely. And on the other hand, your soulmate client will also get the most out of it because they are your soulmate client. So what you have to do is when you sit on the couch thinking about your dreams, think about who do you have to support slash want to support, right? Who do you want to serve? Who then shows up, gets results, pays you well, so that you can go out and make your dreams come true. And obviously, again, the same thing with your dreams, like what kind of pizza would that be, right? What do you want? What, what do you desire and what's yours? Not your parents or siblings or society, like what's yours? And get really, really clear on that. I think once you are clear on how you want to serve, how you want to show up, what you want to give to the world, and then you really can describe your soulmate client, your life will be so much easier because you will use the right words, the right language. You can be really descriptive in what you do and why you do it so that those people are drawn in. And once they are drawn in, well, they are your soulmate client and your soulmate client will work with you. They will help you to evolve while you help them to evolve. So it's a give, give, give. And that's at the end of the day, that's a win, win, win for everyone involved. So get really, really clear on the pizza and think about it. How do you want your life to be? How do you want your soulmate client to show up? How do you want to create your business that's totally in alignment, that's fun, that's exciting, that's giving you what you desire, right? The freedom, the peace, the travel, whatever it is, that's yours. And it's here for you to claim. So by getting clear on the gift, right? By getting clear on what you can give, then you can get clear on what they get, and once you know what they get, you know what you can ask for. And then it's just a beautiful circle that closes itself because you've taken care of your soulmate clients and they will take care of you. So get off of your couch, right? Take action. Sit down, review your soulmate client. I review my soulmate client like at least three to four times a year. Every time a new client comes in that I work with one-on-one -on -one, and I only have a handful of those because it's pretty intense, I really look at them and I think like, wow, what do I like about this person? What do I love about them, right? They all love freedom. They all take action. They're all amazing. But then there are these tiny nuances that maybe at the beginning I have not really understood what they are, but then when I understood, then I can say, wow, so my soulmate client, I'm just going to add to the perfect description this nuance. And then when the next person comes around, I already know if it's an alignment, they will have this little thing, right? They will have this little desire or they will think in a certain way or they will ask certain questions or they will not ask certain questions for sure. So get really, really clear on what your soulmate client will do or would do and what they would not or never do, because then you also know, like, 
if somebody disqualifies and you need to send them somewhere else or you give them another resource, but you, you definitely do not work with them because you know they're going to make your life more complicated. And here I'm talking about the one-on-one -on -one relationship or small group programs where you really want to make sure that you have your soulmate clients in them. Otherwise, obviously, if it's an online self-study program, you don't have any influence and you probably can serve more people because you do not have that personal touch point, right? So get clear on your favorite pizza and then get clear on a way you call that in, right? Which pizza shop are you calling for your pizza, right? Is it maybe LinkedIn or is it Facebook or is it Twitter or Instagram? Is it the mix, right? Where do you show up? How do you show up? And then I would just encourage you with that kind of clarity, like shout from the rooftops, let people know you are in business in a beautiful way by just letting them know. Oftentimes people don't even get the idea that you offer what you offer because you never make an offer. So if you feel you're talking to your soulmate client, just let them know you are in business. That's what you do. And that is the challenge they have. So invite them to have the conversation with you. I really hope that helped. And that was a fun episode for you talking about pizza and different styles of pizza and comparing it to your soulmate client and how you can get that clarity. And I know if you are a pretty picky eater, <laughs> you probably uh, really enjoyed this episode because you know exactly like all the different kinds of cheeses and toppings that could go on a pizza and what you like and what you dislike. And you can really imagine how you can craft your perfect pizza. And that's the same with your business, with your life. You need that clarity first. And once you got that clarity, you need to go out and take action because just dreaming is not going to help. You have to take action. Therefore, I also say stop just dreaming. Act now. So have a wonderful, wonderful week full of inspiration, motivation and action taken. And yeah, I would love to hear from you. So when you hop over to christineschlonsky.com, find the podcast tab. If you are not part of the empowerment notes yet, make sure you sign up and get empowerment right into your inbox with some content I usually do not share on social media, as well as the updates on Hot Self Podcast with all the amazing guests. And then, yeah, if you are interested in joining a community of like-minded, heart-centered people who are in the business of heart-centered business building and you want to go for your dreams, check out the Heart Sells members community or just write me an email to info at christineschlonsky.com. Let me know how life treats you right now, what your challenges are, or what are your questions that I could answer on Heart Sales Podcast to make your life easier, to make your sales more successful by sharing some of the little tips that I have learned along the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day wherever you are in this beautiful world. And I'm saying bye for now.